In this channel, we have a tradition where I used to suit up for season finales, but still no suit because I'm I'm banned on Twitch still for like another two days. Let's begin today's reaction. Quarter thumb up. Remember, the tradition of all out fighting. Ain't no way this is a five year old. Tell me, this is a fucking five year old, bro? Yeah, it is if it's an orc. He was just like more intelligent than others. He became culture. Bro named himself. Damn. <laughs> the simplicity at its finest. This is how they talk. Oh, unga. I don't know how to talk, so I'll punch him through our punches. We'll convey our emotions. Get the fuck out of my face, dumbass. He just built different. He's just super intelligent, super strong, even though lanky. <laughs> he became a god because he had higher intellect than the rest of the fucking orcs. Damn, they're actually worshipping him. Look, all the different offerings. He became isolated. It's lonely at the top. But Broston can't understand them. He's alienated. He's too smart. And by being too smart and different, he can't relate to his own tribe anymore. Now he's lonely. That's sad. Suffering from success, man. This killed everybody? Okay. I felt nothing. Damn. Hold up. I lost my family and fellow works. I felt nothing at all. Not... Because he could never relate to them. But even though his own people died because they were so different. It's not this inaction or inability to do anything. He literally is like, you and I are not the same. I'm sorry, I cannot feel anything. Yeah, he reading. Wyvern hunter, wyvern slayer. Big talk. Amazing. That's kind of sad. It can today through Rick Gladiator. What's your dream? Whoa, that's actual important lore. Whoa, this is actually insane lore, right? Yamato is the hero that Rick was reading books off of as a child. That the being that couldn't defeat Kaiser Alpha Theater or something, right? But this is like an origin hero. Legendary five? Oh. He's the author. <laughs> That's the one. Okay. And then I wonder where he is now. That's right, because every one of them are strong, but they're not like an unga bunga, just warrior. Rick has been trained like one. Now we're gonna have his dream come true. Just imagine <laughs> Broston versus the magic lolly having a fist fight. Manly fist fight. Imagine the lolly changed into like a bodybuilder giga big lady. 
like that one girl from Hunter x Hunter. Remember the power chart videos that we see? Like, there's that one girl who's like fucking bodybuilder, right? Like, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Rick can. Finally, it's time. Quarter thumb up. <laughs> yeah, every the entire I'm surprised the entire stadium wasn't like boo. Come on, do something. You've been talking for 40 minutes. Boo. <laughs> That's right, it's not just the training, it's all the shit before too. No, fist fight. Fist fight. What a fucking manly fight. Quarter thumb, baby! Oh. Nah, Rina's fine with this. Only fists now. That's right, we communicate through our fists. That's a good punch! Rost doesn't look like he's taking damage! Don't back down! I thought at least she is about to like enhance the barrier, but she's using the magic on the dwarf elf guy, and then the champion doesn't matter now. What's happening? Enhance barrier. Hey, that's a movie. Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, instead of enhancing the barrier, we can just remove the people from the audience to, you know, limit the live- Are they gonna be able to watch? Where did they go? Where did you send them? Hey, what about their tickets? Are they gonna get a refund? I see, when you said, oh, him, that's not a big deal right now. I, I guess you meant that, like, okay, we're not gonna send Kelvin away. But, like, yo, where, where did they get sent to? They paid for the ticket for the grand finals and, and you just skipped this? Yeah, true. <laughs> she don't even have a fucking mic anymore, bro. <laughs> okay. They're still going. Yep. Rick faster, Broston stronger. Get back up! Not enough yet. Not yet. It is. Yo, his legs are giving out. That's right. You gotta repay him back more. That's the first time. That's that's the first time I've ever heard him laugh like that. Emotions at this play. He's happy. <laughs> Yo, Rick, are you alive? One more? Get back up. Never give up, never back down. Maybe it's over. No! The skill! I forgot! The the patented skill, remember? The shit we saw before where he one shot a dragon. Like, I don't know what the conditions are, but like when you're like pushed to the limits, like a near death situation, doesn't that shit happen? No, 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 no. Skill. Skill, bro. Mm -mm. You're coping. You know you're coping. He's got more in the tank. Oh, 
Arenet knows. Seriously, sir. So while Rick did get serious today with the quarter thumbs up, he hasn't gotten seriously serious yet. That's gotta be the actual passive skill. There it is! Inborn skill. Oh! That's what I meant by the surprise. I'm like, what? Broston really didn't know this shit? They actually kept it a secret. This is like a secret birthday party. They never told him about this shit. Nice. What are the conditions? Just near death? Against someone's stronger than so. Exceed the limits. Mental? Mental strength. Got it. So it's basically pushed to the brinks of like your limits, your physical body, your mental body. I don't know. Everything. It, it's not about like magical energy or physical strength, right? It's about your resolve. Your inner base spirit. The strength of willpower. Seriously serious now. <laughs> and now you try. I love how every one of these people got scammed out of a grand finals. They can't even see what's going on. And all they see is the stadium being slowly more broken, bro. So who's going to fix this shit? I just realized. Oh my god. The soundtrack went crazy to the violin. <laughs> Shit like this is why Osa Newbie Adventure is so good. Cause like, if it was just like this fight without any of like the characterizations for Rick and Broston and what they've done, it would be just another unga bunga fight that has no fucking meaning, right? But again, this show just does so well in balancing the power of fantasy with the actual characters and like developing them and having like backstories that we can actually give a fuck about. <laughs> Not yet! The final hit! Oh, a headbutt! Hi, what happened? Both down? Yo, who's gonna pay for this shit? Snape can pay for it. No, Snape got no money. Dude! Is it gonna be double fucking white beard moment? Both of them, like, died while standing up? What's happening right now? Rick is still there. My man's still standing! Is he there though? Is he conscious? He is, he is. And the craziest thing might be Broston, like... He, he straight up didn't use any magic. I don't think he did. Like, Rick was... He used his inborn skill. Broston was just base mode, straight punches, right? Aww. Aww. And the winner is... Both of them, I'd say. <laughs> oh, the belt! The champion belt! 
Three days, damn. Well, that's an improvement. Roughly a half. You're the champion, bro. Broston, like, again, just no special shit, just straight punches. Thank you. That's right. It was all a secret. Six birds in the sky there. Six in the room. I think Alice is an honorary member of the Oriel Confist now. Let's go, Angie. <laughs> That's right, we don't really need the belt. <laughs> we only need the fucking orb. Let's just give the belt back to Kelvin. Here we go! We're gonna give him a fake one, bro! I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? But that's hilarious that we had a fake one ready to go. Okay. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> the magic literally did what? <laughs> Added a dark fucking circle in the middle. Yeah, we scamming out here, man. The old guy. He's not alive anymore, right? Reinhard. Okay, we got another dude named Reinhard with red hair in his show who is super OP. Okay, this dude is around, inborn skill, extended longevity. Alright, he, he's also an author, so I guess that's his excuse. <laughs> Let's win the tournament, yoink the fucking jewel, put a fake one in, deny the win, give the belt back. Kelvin, you're the champion again, bro! Let's go! Let's go, Kelvin! <laughs> we're leaving the <laughs> No, we're leaving the cat girl and the baldy. <laughs> Please make me your wife. Let me call you my old man. Both wants to call him daddy though at the end of the day. These two really are the same character, man. You know, it's daddy in different ways. <laughs> Yeah, the beads are back too, the anal beads. Aww. Opening! Aww, they got so close together during this time, I didn't even know. More training? <laughs> wait, 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 Angie, Angie, Angie. I've asked... Yeah, Angie is on, remember. Yeah, yeah, Angie is literally... I mean, the six birds flying across, you know, when we were all in the room together. Angie straight up just joining Oriel Confist. Let's fucking go. <laughs> the resolve! May, may, maybe? Who knows? Foreshadowing? で、また走って帰り。何を今更。まあいいですわ。で、どんな。2000、maybe。弱点数字を言えば面白いわけじゃありません。いい、いい、いい、いい。任せてや。今日か。<笑> Man, Mizet is actually such a flexible character. Like, his engineering magic shit just does this. Like, again, like the versatility. Wow. 
よしじゃあ帰ろうところでリック様行きましょうか OVA 温泉 OVA カマンえっといやあれは合ってませんよ<笑>リーネットとの And the NG too please Oh Is this happening? Or is this a delusion? It's a delusion. It's a delusion. Oh. Oh. Now it's just us two. Ooh. Bye. Now it's the real opening. I don't remember this part in the opening. So what if I'm in my 30s, man? <laughs> Wonder when they'll bump up the age bracket from 30 to like, I don't know, like 40. Like imagine like Rick Radio, but like 40 years old instead. It's like, so what if I'm 40s? I feel like those kind of animes will like air in about another decade as they realize that their audience who is marketed like the 30 year old protagonist has grown up and now needs a new protagonist to be able to relate to. But goddamn, this anime, what a fantastic anime. I remember when I watched the trailer for this and I saw the animation quality. It seemed like a, just like a standard battle hype anime. The main character is like, you know, pretty old and it's gonna be people looking down on him and the power fantasy is him proving others wrong and i was like all right that sounds pretty standard like but how good is this really gonna be it was pretty good might i say great better in tower of god 100 percent better in tower of god season two if we're talking about that right i think that this anime is a solid minimum 7.5 out of 10. minimum 7.5 i don't think the story is exceptionally deep nor are the characters complex but what this show excels at is knowing how to create hype through the power fantasies of rick being op through this crazy training right and then not only is it just that because if it was only that people would get bored of this shit after the first example of the power fantasy what do they do after they build other characters and then the story kind of revolves around them while rick and his strong friends kind of solve the situation right the whole Angie story, right? Building Angie up and Angie losing the geese and then Rick showing up and, you know, scaling his powers according to what Angie's could be in six months, nine months and beyond. And having the story being told that way, Brostun's like dream coming true, right? It's not just a random fucking fight. Brostun has been planning for this, hoping that someone would show up one day that could like meet him and do this quarter from challenge and, you know, have, you know, have a reason to realize that like he is not alone. And if we even go even further back, right? It's, it's just like, the whole theme of someone that trained exceptionally hard, I know he has the inborn skill and some people were pissed off about that theme of like, wait a minute, you're telling me that the whole premise of this show is supposed to be like a washed up dude who wasted, quote unquote, wasted his life and now is trying to get back into it and, and through hard effort, he's reached his greatness, but actually he was always the chosen one? I don't necessarily think so, right? That chosen one in inborn skill definitely is helpful, but it's not like that is the reason why he's strong, right? He trained his ass off for it, he earned it, and then he also has something OP underneath. So I don't think that the theme of the story is really lost in translation. Again, minimum 7.5 out of 10. Maybe it should be like a 7 out of 10, but I don't know. I just felt like this anime was just surprisingly good, right? I'm not saying it's like the peak of summer 2024, but an anime that I definitely look forward to watching each and every week. And that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.